how is Subaru gonna get out of this one? Everything looks so bad. And if I was watching this on a week by week basis, I probably wouldn't think that the arc would conclude today because guess what? It's been out for eight years and people are like, you gotta watch Mary and Snow after episode 11. We're on episode 11, so I'm gonna guess this is the final episode of the arc. It is what it is. Now, what was the important stuff happening last episode? We've become so intimate and bonded with Rem that she has gone out of her own way to sacrifice herself almost and try to save Subaru because he's been bit by all these witch fiends and she's out there killing, killing in demon mode. And I think this just goes to show how much of an impact Subaru has on Rem this run. This is fantastic and she's on our side. It was very terrifying in episode 7, but you know, three episodes deep, now she's like one of our most loyal, if not like closest you know, partners, I guess we have. Ram, fantastic. I loved it when we fucking yeeted her into the sky. And Subaru is doing something very interesting with the mechanics of spoiling that he has to return by death. Because every time he does that, Satala's hand shows up and it grips Subaru's balls and says, don't you fucking try to do this. But every time we do that, the witch's stunt spikes. It acts like an AoE taunt provoked to keep people distracted. And really thinking from how Subaru can be useful, this is really nice. Because, like, he's not just, like, a frontliner fighter. Yes, I've seen him just fight that witch fiend. How he countered the fucking dog and smashed him into the tree and impaled him was insane. But it's not like he has crazy magic just yet or any sort of swordsman skills just yet. So he has, like, Shamak, which is the, um... It's a debuff that's supposed to send people into darkness, but it just kind of fucks up because of his lack of a gates and how to use it. So it's just like a smoke bomb. And then he has this return by death AoE taunt provoke, which is nice. So I see him shaping up to be almost like a Kazuma character in a party where you have the darkness, you have the frontliner, you know, you have the, you know, you got the fighters, you got the nuke like Megumin. He's going to be like strategizing from the back lines and kind of uh, giving hints and little clues of how to, you know, properly fight in battle. I think that's what's going to be the direction with them moving forward. Now, one more episode left. Rem's horn, I think we strike that shit, but there was also like a huge flashback lore on the Oni twins as well and how they lost their horn. Let's begin today's reaction. The moon is red. Okay, Rem Rem lore. Fuck the pride, bro. He succumbed to the sins here as well, the pride, and now he's doing a fucking act of evil atrocity. <laughs> Dude, they're placed on like an altar of actual sacrifice with like food and offerings. <laughs> like the two babies are in the middle with a bunch of them. This is fucked, man. <laughs> Little Rem and Ram. Horns. Whoa. Well, that's how long it can go. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Ram is the one not crying as the older sister. She handles business. Okay, Ram. What the fuck? What? This child is what? Super talented, a genius, a prodigy? But like the Ram we know is not. And Ram is supposed to be the good one. But the lore, and like even the only talk with Subaru in the conversations about the folklore, and how she said like, break off the horns. So, so what? She was the capable one? I mean, look at the body language, right? Look at Rem looking down. Rem in the middle with the horn out? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? The roles got flipped. Or rather, it was always like this. And what we see at Ram and Rem right now was actually the opposite of what the true thing was supposed to be. She was the prodigy. Mm. Other people upset that like, if only it was only Ram and Rem wasn't here and she could be even more powerful. <laughs> That's one of the worst things to hear, man. Like, oh, you're that guy's brother. You're that person's sister, you know? 
being compared to someone great. I mean, you've already seen Mushoku Tensei and how Norn felt, right? It's like, yeah, it's never a good thing. Rem, let's see it. The powers. Horn? Okay, she has the horn. That's pretty good, right? Aww. Little Rem and Rem, bro. When the witch cult hit him, bro. <laughs> Stop it with these slice of life moments. I'm not getting attached to these kids right now in their village. All right, they're all gonna fucking die when the witch cult coming. No, fuck the mom. No, I'm not getting. I'm not getting attached. Damn. Four logs, cut in one strike, and Ram can't even cut. The what, dude? The tables have turned. No, the turn tables. It's the fucking office joke of like, you know what? Like when we're doing the head shape, we're cutting like trimming and Ram fucks it up and Ram fixes it. Like everything is just opposite. Ram is powerful, huh? She'll be better at cooking and house, you know, laundry, dishes. Okay. And this is how Rem is obviously better at cooking and all the different household chores at an early age. Okay. Damn, she making these little hunting traps by herself? Uh oh. Oh no! Lightning strike! Rain darkness! Witch's cult is coming. <laughs> no, not the berries! Ram! Ram is nothing! Let's go, Ram! Our dinner. Who go make the fucking dinner now, man? Oh, no witch's cult. It was just... Bad premonitions. Okay, okay. Well, we got the steam taters, right? Rem, mm. Damn. All she wanted to do was be useful. But even in the pursuit of that, she fucks up and now Ram has to get involved and Rem is like, man, I really can't do shit and eat by myself. Hmm? Was there not the steamed potatoes mentioned last episode too? I swear to God, the steamed potato. And then Ram said that shit, and we're like, "Yo, that's the easiest fucking shit to make." And she was so proud of it. But here's the steamed potato fucking lore. Aww. And like, this is how, and this is why Ram is always like proud of Ram's thing. You know. Like, every time you see Ram taking credit after Rem's work, and Super was like, why are you proud that, like, your sister made a good meal? It wasn't even yours. But, like, this. Because she wanted Rem to feel good. Ram is such a good sister. Ram, Ram is the superior one, man! Poor Rem. Oh, <sighs> This is a dream? I think this is a dream. No, don't say that! Mind break! <laughs> Yo, the only clan sucks. The only clan straight up sucks. Aww, Ram. Ram has always been like her son. Just like how Rem and Ram are holding Subaru when he was like healing and pained. Ram, too good, man. Witch cult? When's, when's Witch cult showing up, bro? And this is like why Rem has so much respect for Ram in the earlier episodes when I'm like, yo, this girl can't do anything. Like, why does Rem respect her sister so much? This answers it all. Oh, the moon is red? Which cult? Cult is coming. Yeah, can we see some members of the cult, man? Uh-oh. They attacking. 
I mean, the first thing we see is the fucking... <laughs> it's the village. It's the village head. Get it? It's the village head's head. It's his head cut off, but he's the head of the village. <laughs> he deserves this shit. Uh, no, mom, dad! Uh, Ram <laughs> Damn, Ram's fighting the cult members! I don't... They're all wearing fucking... You look... What kind of cult is this? <laughs> what is this pointy head? <laughs> what kind of cult is this, bro? <laughs> we got the Ku Klux here! <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me there's a Grand Wizard. <laughs> if the cult has like a Grand Wizard, bro, oh my god! It's not helping! It's really not helping! What the fuck? Ram! Ram Clutch! This is what we saw! Last episode, right? The scene of the village burning with Rem and Ram with the horns and then... Horn goes flying. Who cut it? And then... Whoosh. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I thought that she did it herself or something last time because we didn't see anything after. We didn't see this part. So, a clan member. <laughs> a clan member cut this shit off with his knife. Man, look at the dagger. It's got like a cross and everything. And they're super fucking religious, huh? It's got the whole fucking backwards cross here attached to the knife. <sighs> Oh, that's... That's kind of fucked up, but like... That's very realistic, because like you're constantly compared to this girl who is better than you, has the horn, and now it's just like, oh, it broke off, as in like... Is this a part where Rem, Rem feels like, finally, this girl will not be like, casting a shadow over me anymore, and I can be my own thing, a little bit of relief there. It's fucked up, but I think it's very realistic. <laughs> Or, or, or maybe Rem wants to be the one, you know? Or may maybe, maybe Rem wants to be the one protecting Rem instead of Rem protecting Rem. I, I don't know. This, my first interpretation of this is like, she's glad that the thing that she was always compared to is no longer a thing. But I don't know. Maybe it's more like I want, I, now I'm the one that can protect Rem or something. Who knows? <laughs> Roswell? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? It's gotta be Roswell, right? Okay. But like, why would Roswell be there just in time? Is he a member of the clan? I don't know. Like, if you look at Roswell's face and you ask me, does he be like, if you show me the roster of characters in season one and you ask me who belongs to a cult, the guy that is, has the Kirito voice actor, the guy with like a skeleton face, yeah, and like Roswell. This dude just looks like a fucking cult leader. So like, I wonder if he just swooped in in time, like is this just by chance that he found them and he was like, oh, Oni Village, I'll take these two. Was this all planned from behind? Is Roswell an ex-clan member? I don't know. <laughs> She's gonna cut her fingers too. Cutting potato. Damn, the standard she put on herself. Yeah, I think he is the Grand Wizard, bro. Straight up. Roswell, magician, the greatest fucking wizard of the country. Bro, he is the Grand Wizard. He is! The he is! Who? X Maid, right? There was another maid mention that doesn't work here anymore. She's got like jagged teeth. Blonde. Okay.
Ah, okay. So she did think what I thought, right? So this was the moment of weakness where she realized I can no longer, you know, I'm free. I don't need to be compared to Ram. But now she recognizes that and this is like atonement. She wants to do better because this is like a sin to her. That is so sad. A replacement boss as this cracks, man. Man, their backstory is sad. But like, I really wonder how much of this was planned by Rossball, right? The whole thing is like Rem getting compared to the superior sister. Rem was better at everything. And Rem constantly living in the shadows. And finally, when the horn breaks off, she feels this relief that like, finally. I can be my own person now. This this girl will not shatter me. But she, she's like, no, nah, that was fucked up. Now nah, this is the atonement. <sighs> That's sad. Her entire existence, bro, is just a fucking atonement arc. And like, how much did Roswell plan this shit ahead? Was he even a part of it? Was that all by chance that he just showed up? It just doesn't make sense that he would just happen to show up unless the only fucking village is like part of his domain. Then maybe because it's under his jurisdiction. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Okay, we got Rem. Roswell versus Reinhardt in kidnap contest. Well, Roswell wins because he took back two lollies, right? Reinhardt only took one lolly, but Roswell took two. So I think the power scaling there in terms of who the superior lolly con is, it's got to be Roswell. <laughs> Now what? What do we do? We still need to kill all the dogs, man. What the fuck? Because you went out to sacrifice yourself. And Super is basically a Tony too. Like, no, because you showed us how far you were going to go for Subaru. So obviously he's going to meet that expectation. Rem's pride getting in the way right now, man. Oh shit, right shoulder dislocated. I'm useless. Damn, Rem crying. No, no, that's that. I still think that this moment was fucking stupid from Subaru. Like, it was a heroic moment to save her, but did she need saving? And the demon mode, like, she can regenerate? Like, this was like, fuck. I, I felt like, and, like, and then her demon mode went away after he pushed her here. I, I understand that he felt like he, he needed to save her, but like, I don't know. I think that she was fine. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Headbutt Riz? What would happen if the horn was out? He would have probably killed himself there, right? If the horn was still out and he headbutt that? <laughs> You're stupid! Butosu, you just opened up your fucking head injury. Yeah, I'm stupid, I know. We're all idiots here. Three better than one. Teamwork. Oh my god! Super would just refer to the three headed dog from the underworld, the gatekeeper of hell, Keruberus. Therefore, he is the incarnation of the devil himself. Teamwork, man. More witch fiends. CGI witch fiends that mixes with the 2D environment well. Ball dog, that piece of shit. Ball dog still sitting. Mm -mm -mm. Call Reinhardt, bro. Call Reinhardt. We gotta nuke this fucking ball dog. Okay. Oh, you can spam it again? I can return by death. <laughs> Cause I'm demonically possessed with you or some shit. I don't know. Riz her up. Oh. Okay. 
I mean, if you consider the village is grocery shopping a date, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, she doesn't remember it. It didn't happen in this run. To Rem, this makes no sense because that should never happen in this run. But he's right. My God, what is she thinking right now? What the fuck are you talking about, date? To us, it's like, oh yeah, that run. But to her, it's like... What? Alright, here we go again. <laughs> oh, the bald dog! But the opening's playing. It's fine. The opening's playing, but the bald dog looking menacing. Oh, it's not a cute little puppy. Never mind. <laughs> it's fine. It's all part of the plan. Wow. Rem, I think... Like, after this moment, I think this might be the turning point, right? Like, now... Like, like Rem is head over heels for Subaru. Which, I don't know is, like... We're trying to get Amelia, but Rem is now just like gonna take the actual main girl's spot now? Remember all the hero memories of this run, right? <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny. It was like, who needs you? Stop moving! Fall gets up and Rem is just on the ground. <laughs> I thought that like this was like a scuffed version. He didn't actually know how to use it because the gate it got fucked up and it was more like a smoke screen. But it's a smoke screen plus everyone involved did get shamaked on. That's right, the mana, right? Book of fruits. Well, that was fucking pointless. Yeah, that was hype for like three seconds, and then the dog took no fucking damage, dude. <laughs> The Grand Wizard is back! The Grand Wizard is dropping news! Holy shit! <laughs> and imagine if we... Remember the couple episodes back when I said let's burn the village down? Imagine if Roswell carpet bombed the fucking village and the kids for my fucking experimentation to see which variable is causing the fucking shop. Damn, Damn Roswell, so sick! <laughs> yeah, how did you know that? Hmm? He has a better Emilia impersonation than Subaru does. Yeah. I've heard Subaru's multiple times. This is the first time I hear it from Amelia. <laughs> That's probably from Roswell. That was fucking amazing. Ten. Yo, happy ending! Roswell clutching for <laughs> us? Now, could you imagine if Roswell kills Subaru here? Because he's like, I know you planned all this shit, trying to get close to me, suspicious spy. It kills him, and it's just like an infinite fucking hell, where now the final boss is Roswell. How do you overcome him? <laughs> you call for Reinhardt. I think we're good! I, I think we're good! Like, there is no limit as to how much mental gymnastics we can do to think why this would be suspicious to Roswell, right? Because like what I say last time, it's just like, okay, well, we know that a lord's domain is still their responsibility. So if the village got fucked up, then it looks bad on Roswell. But Subaru helped them out. But it's like, oh, he helped them out to try to get closer to Roswell, and that is suspicious. See, you know how we can continuously, infinitely just keep saying this is suspicious, but eh, it's going to be fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's it's over. It's it's crazy. Like the amount of affection that Rem has gained for Subaru over the last two episodes has been startling. Cause like two to three episodes ago, she's a fucking stranger, you know? 
two to three episodes ago, she was literally accusing us for being the cult member and killing us. But now, she, like the affection points is, is insane. It, it's like beyond gushed. She, like she'd probably be, be super, it's like personal fucking mate from now on. <laughs> Checkpoint now. Checkpoint now. I don't know, but it's good. <laughs> Imagine he wakes up here and he goes, Remu Remu, there's a fucking loser DJ in here. Remu Remu, you right. And it's just like, and we're like, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Stuck. Hey, what's up? Rem Subaru, huh? Still holding hands. Emilia got cucked by Rem, it seems like. But you can't cook somebody that was never there. Emilia never saw him as a man, so I don't think so. Just like how Ram did for Rem in the sleep. Yeah, because Ram did that for Rem in the flashback. Roswell. Roswell just carpet bomb all the witch fiends. It was that easy, bro. Roswell just dropped nukes in the entire fucking forest. <laughs> it's just done. Crazy shit. <sighs> hmm? Just an act? Yo, the only clan sucks. That is true. Ram superior. Ram. Ram. Subaru. I don't know. Ask the author. You should be happy, your twins. Don't think of it like that. おかしなことを言ってください。え、様だったらって死ぬほどラムを持ち上げて、別にレムのポジションにラムがいても状況プラスしてたと体力ねえし、料理下手だし。I <笑> This is factually true, and even more pronounced in the ReZero break time with the chibi models. Because if a chibi model bust is bigger, then you know it's a fact. Happy ending. Hey, let's go, Rem. Oh shit, oh shit, the affection meter. What is this piano track? Just... The story is a random person showed up and just cut the horn off, right? Yeah, we saw a dude in a cloak cut it off. But what if that's Roswell? But what reason would Roswell have? Because, like, I'm trying to walk backwards and figure out how Roswell even knew and why, like, what is the incentive? I don't know. What good is it that you cut off the horn of a prodigy Oni? I, I, I don't know. Unless that she's like a threat to you? I don't think so. Just to kidnap the lollies? I don't know. But I, I really want to believe that it's Roswell there. The timing, him being there, his whole appearance, the style, it just screams witch's cult. But I just, I just don't know like the motives or the incentives at this point. The horn is delicious. You think it's an ingredient? The horn is a butt plug that Roswell was seeking for. And I'll follow that with Betty saying your weird makeup and fantasies. Yes, I think that my theory is on point. Yeah, 
来年の話をすると鬼が笑うっつんだよ、okay. だからさあよレムしけたつらしてないで足をしよう This is working on Rem, man. This is actually very motivational and inspirational for me, Subaru. So, today, tomorrow, I'm going to eat a menu or a menu or a menu. No, he's strong. He's strong as fuck. Then my back will be yours. Oh, man. I've seen enough rom com, bro. The sun is getting brighter and brighter, bro. We about to have the curtains are about the fan, the person outside the window is getting ready with the fan. Do you understand? The, the fan dude is about to turn it on. Her hair is just gonna whoa with the sun, bing, and then tears come out in the emotional moment. Like every fucking moment like that in rom com, bro. <laughs> So, go ahead and follow me. Here we go. It's getting bright. I'm going to go to the next one. See? I'm going to go to the next one. The fan guy. Yes! Turn the fan on now! Yes, sir! Brrr. The curtains just fucking go. Why? Why? Where was the wind before, huh? Where? Where was the wind before any of this shit? You know there's a guy outside! I got the one. Demonically possessed for you, Rem. Yeah, I'm getting to understand why a lot of people say like Rem is best girl. I see it. I see it. Like this is definitely the beginning, right? Like the amount of affection and just like love being shown from Rem towards Subaru. It is unreal right now. You think Amelia's gonna ever have a moment like this? I'm not sure. <laughs> Aww. Happy ending! Rem is today's episode's title, but I don't think it's over yet. Ball dog! What are they doing tonight? Yes! Uh, uh, the purple hair girl, right? Purple hair girl? There was the barrier broken, so someone from our side must have done it. Purple hair girl still, we don't know them. Subaru knew every kid except her. Yeah, yeah, it must have been her, right? Disappear, huh? Battle for the game. You aren't the type to lose heart because he's so confident. Because Roswell is him. Because he is the former Grand Wizard. I don't know, but he's got confidence. Hmm. Get your ass over here. Come sit on my lap. Take some fucking head pads. Begin what? Unable to attend. Yo, yo, what are you doing? To, what are they doing at night together? All I've seen him is pat her head before. What the fuck is happening? Wait! That's the horn that got broken off. Attend to you. You used a lot of mana. And then he, like, Touches the slit. <laughs> and he fingers it and, and, and then... She gets healed? Are we putting mana into her body right now? I don't know. I, I think that's what the implication is. That we're like putting the mana back in her body? Where is he going? Hold up. I shall be busy again for a time. Because he just went to talk to somebody that he didn't like. And then he came back just in time. And now he's busy again? The fuck is he up to behind the scenes? That's, that's what I'm so like, interested about. Like, what is Roswell up to while we fuck around here? <laughs> Why? My goal. What's your goal? Oh! <laughs> Heavy lore. His goal is to kill the dragon. And I don't think this really makes him a bad guy. Because the dragon has been set up as the person that cr made a pact. And remember, a pact and a contract is different. A contract we've already seen with Betty and Puck. But a pact means that 
The dragon is expecting something in return. The pact with the royal family that was created a long time ago, right? Whoever assumes the throne next because the royal family died off due to that epidemic that hit just their lineage, the dragon is waiting for whatever was promised at the end of the pact. And if Emilia wins the throne, then it's up to Emilia to deserve to to basically deliver upon the promises of the pact. But it's in Roswell's best interest. He wants Emilia to win the throne. And then this opens up an opportunity to get close to the dragon and then actually kill it. What do we know about the dragon? The dragon exists beyond a great waterfall that is still protecting over the kingdom of Lugunica. The dragon, sage, and hero were the three beings that sealed away Satella. And everything makes it seem like the dragon is a good person. But I could totally see the dragon being like an endgame boss as well. Because like we don't know what that pact was. What was the agreements at the end of the pact? Four days. Think about that. Four days. To a Rem Ram? To Roswell, like to if anybody truly saw from Subaru's perspective, like to us, there's a lot of ruin runs. But like imagine witnessing Subaru. Cause like everything that he's done just worked out. You know? Everything that he's done in this run to everyone else here is just like worked out. He defeated Elsa in the cellar with the help of Reinhardt, then showed up, then solved this fucking problem. You know, it's, it's just like, think about from the perspective of everyone in these runs where he's successful. And to them, Subaru must be like, like a god. Like a fucking, just insane gigabrain god. Look at this motherfucker. Emilia should at this point say, Aw, oh, you, you're kidding. You're cheating on Rem then. I see how close you and Rem got. I'm so happy for you, Subaru. Good for you. I'm rooting for you guys. And Emily walks away. Subaru's like... <laughs> Thank God Roswell showed up. Yep. Yeah, again. Perfectly. Well, he did want it, but it's not just for himself. Dato. Another example where he forces a date upon the girl as she feels like she's obliged to take it on. I just want you to realize that. There's never been a moment where these dates has been like a spontaneous thing from like both sides wanted to go, but it's just always like, oh, I've done this favor for you now. <laughs> Give me the date, baby. But what about Rem? Bro, what about Rem, bro? Victory! Victory! Subaru's lust and greed at display as he already secured Rem, but then immediately ignores her and goes to thirst after Emilia. Hmm, only bad things gonna happen if you, you know, go too much with the sins, man. EMF? What's F? EMF? That's so cringe. Emilia time mesmerizing angel before, and now Emilia time mesmerizing fairy. I cannot comprehend how giga cringe this is. <laughs> oh my god, like a fairy! Wow. <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Alright! That's it for today's episode of ReZero, and quite the triumphant episode, huh? This is the winning run. We did it. Now, what happened? Backstory with the Oni Village. The Oni Clan sucks, bro. Their pursuit of power, even if that means offering the twins as a sacrifice is crazy, the only reason they were allowed to live is because Ram as a child displays his potential with our horn. What a stupid ass corny ass village. I'm glad they all fucking died. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so mean to say. The important things, I guess, is the characterization of Rem and how insecure she felt compared to Ram. And she felt that she can she don't have to try anymore. She can just be in the shadows and let Ram have to do everything. But as Ram lost the horn, a diabolical smile crosses across Rem. And I think it's a very realistic one, right? So where she realizes, oh. I don't have to be compared to her anymore. But then she remembers this and atones for it. And that's why she's such a good sister to Ram. 
all the different things of how Ram was so proud of Ram's work, even though Ram didn't Ram didn't do anything, also just makes sense. The handholding, everything was connected to their backstory. Pretty sad, but hey, at least they made it out alive. Subaru, Shamak. Shamak in practice actually worked, bro. I was like, is he gonna use Return by Death again? Nah, Shamak. And it bought some time, right? It didn't kill the dog, but it bought enough time for Roswell to show up. Ul Goa, bro. The strongest magician of the Dragon's Kingdom shows up and just like scorches his entire forest. And now we're good. And this whole scene, Rem, bro, bawling her eyes out, showing her affection for Subaru. Like, this should be the shit between em this Rem and Subaru, but like, it's funny how Emilia doesn't see Subaru as like a man or like a romantic interest. I still believe that. I feel like Subaru might not even see Rem as a love interest. Because like, how the fuck are you gonna go from this moment with the fucking curtains floating, the sunlight hitting, tears dripping slow motion, and like, and eh, now let's go fucking ask for a date. And then, bombshell, bombshell of lore. Roswell's goal is to kill the dragon. I've already talked about the difference of a pact and a contract. And a pact expects a return on investment at the end. And we don't know what that is. And the one that wins the throne because the previous royal family is gone, they're, they're, it, the responsibility falls on them. And Roswell is waiting for this opportunity to kill the dragon. For exactly what? I'm not sure. But I don't necessarily think Roswell is evil or the dragon is good. I think that it's all ambiguous. And I could totally see the dragon being some sort of like endgame boss and not really Satella or the witches. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for humor content. And until next time.